from a street dancer to a business owner, from a mentor to a teacher. Growing up, my parents would always tell me, Chip, you have to get a good education, you have to do well in school, and you have to get a good job. It doesn't help that I'm Chinese, and my parents, I believe, is 10 times stricter than any other parents. I'm sure other kids would say the same thing. <laughs> it's really, it was really difficult. Despite that, what my parents said, I danced in a car park, didn't get my E12 certificate, but somehow managed to represent Australia in the World Health Championships in Las Vegas and own Project Beats and run my own dance studio. How did this happen? I ask myself that every day. Let's talk about hip-hop. Now, hip-hop isn't what you see in the media, on TV, on your MTV cribs. It's not, it's not about gold chains, gangsters, drugs, Nicki Minaj, <laughs> this type of dancing. <laughs> None of that. There's actually five elements of hip-hop, and I'm going to briefly explain to you what it's about and what hip-hop culture is. The first element is DJing. This is when the artist will use a song, put extra sound into it to make the song more upbeat. The music of hip-hop. The second element is emceeing or rapping. Now this is the voice of hip-hop, where the artist will use the words poetically in time with the music to talk about his feelings and what's happening around him. The third element is gaffing, which is also known as graffiti art. Now, this is the stuff that you see, the really colorful art on the street walls, and if you've been to New York or around the trains. The fourth element is breaking, which is the dance element, the physical side of hip hop, which is what you're gonna be seeing later on. And the last one, the fifth element, is the knowledge. Now, hip hop isn't taught in school. And from what the media shows you, it's not going to get any better. So to be a part of the hip hop culture, it's our responsibility to share the knowledge of what hip hop is really about. Now, how does understanding all, all this helps, help me with where I got owning a dance business and representing Australia? Hip hop made me understand the patterns of life. Understanding the patterns of life of knowing your habits, your rituals, and getting down to the basics. Understanding the basics and mastering it, you can achieve anything. Whether you want to become a basketball player, soccer, tennis, anything at all. As long as you know the basics and you go back to it and you master it. Now, I've been given a really good opportunity to be able to share what I do and what I love, what I'm passionate about, which is dance, hip hop dance. I was inspired to take action through a performance. Now, let's, let's agree, there's so much knowledge out there that it kind of stunts you to, to not do anything. But taking action and making progress of what we do is gonna get us results. I was lucky enough to have three amazing students, the age of 15, to produce the music that I'm gonna to dance to today. Now, they're only 15, and they've never done it before. I'm so grateful for them to be working on this project with me to make the music. Now, it's a dance performance that inspired me, so hopefully, this dance performance will be, will be able to inspire you. And I'm lucky enough to be able to share the stage with my students and also my dance instructors. Are you guys ready to see a dance performance? Okay. I think they're ready. One, two, one, two, three, ho! Oh.